server side script when that message gets sent to this script right here the server this script runs and it says oh function handle request this is my database extension advanced 2.as file on the server it says handle request well we've had a request right we've had a request we want send extension message send a message to the extension get data right so when you go to the extension file sorry I'm jumping around here when you go to the extension file it says here's the function handle the request what's the command right what are the parameters right that kind of stuff and it'll say if command equal equals get data right then what it'll do is it'll talk to the database right it's gonna select from users from the table users ordered by the username field and it's going to um, put a response into an array into an object which is an array and the response is gonna have the command property named get data the string get data and the response is going to be uh, uh, response dot DB it's going to be an array right that means it's going to be an array and when it queried the database if the result did not equal null right so if if he gets a result this means if it got a result right if it didn't equal nothing then we're gonna loop this is a loop through the size of the query right and we're gonna make a row of a variable called temporary row and we're gonna fill it with these items from the um, SQL database namely we're gonna um, fill it with the username hair head eyes ears mouth we're going to push each of those items into our response dot database array right and if the query did equal nothing we'll just trace database query failed um, then here's the stuff's commented out and then we're gonna send a response back to the flash file and we're gonna send the response back to the flash file and so when it gets back to flash there is a um, function down later down in the code that will handle that response so anyway I just wanted to ex explain that little piece here okay and let's look for the next line that I changed here I thought about sending that message right here but I commented it out so I can actually get rid of this line right here you know, I th I've tried sending it in different places I wanted to get the data from the database for everybody's attributes for all the avatars attributes okay all right you'll see here that I had some debug text that I wanted to run so right here you'll see it loops through all the users in the list and then it gives each one in turn a username right and I wanted to get that information and put that information see like what names were coming through and all that so you see here I've commented this out my debug dot text plus equal username I wanted to see this username on the screen so let me talk about that really quickly right on the um, stage here for flash you'll see a text box and this text box I've, is a dynamic text box with the property name my debug with capital D right so this dynamic text box my debug it's also got uh, behavior multi-line right it will take in and will give me some debugging information so I can um, you know basically trace things to this text box so I can see you know variables and output and see what kind of information is working what kind of functions are actually um, being called what's not being called things like that so it's uh, basically the main tool I use to debug the program and um, here you see I was using it I don't need it anymore I'll just delete it okay and I did the same thing here I wanted to see if what information if I could pick up global my name right I wanted to see if I could figure that out and we'll talk about that later in other words if it says if username does not equal global my name meaning if the user in the loot user list is not you if it's the other users right the other users right so it's making a list of when you've joined the room it's trying to get a list of all the other users in the room right 
Okay. If username does not equal my name, so here's all the users in the other room, and it's going to make a variable called MC. It's going to be a movie clip, and then it's going to attach the avatar movie clip from the library to the stage, right? It's going to, um, and then here's where I made one of my additions. Here's my work right here. I decided to, and it's commented out, I, I so said other users dot push and then the username which will be formatted under the two characters un and then the movie clip I need to store in my own array this movie clip information of the other user where they are on the stage and also their username I need to store that in my own array so I'm pushing it into an array called other users so that I can um, have that information and use that later to change the other users and you can see I want to send that information to the to the my debug text box dynamic text box so I can see hey is did that work right did I format this correctly right and you just want to follow that formatting right there okay then what happens in the actual um, is that in in the actual avatar chat is that movie clip which is now called MC which is your little avatar right the X position is set X and Y position are set and then you got like a colored circle and it says MC dot disk go to and stop uvars dot column which is a random number which gave you a random color on your uh, on the other users right and then here the name went in the username the name text name box on your the avatars were put in so right here this is setting the X Y the colored circle and the name of the other avatars when you join the room so this is important so I wanted to grab that information and stick it into my own array and that's what I used it for